Oh, even worse. Even worse. No, they don't go well together. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. Today's Movie Couple Eats, we are here at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California, and this is the 2022 Boysenberry Festival. You guys saw when we came in, I think 2021, right? Yeah, we just came last year. It was yes. a completely different experience yes. because it was just the festival, just the food. No rides, And now nothing. everything is open, so we're super excited to explore, see all the different foods and events that they have going on here. And I'm super excited to look at all the different food that they have. So so one of the things I think we're going to see is if we are going to get the tasting card or not. So let's go ahead and check that out first. didn't open until 11 a.m. So we're just aimlessly walking around the park. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the Sheffield Bad Dustin's in the sun, just waiting to get food. They're moving really slowly as well. So he's returned. Finally. I was in that line for over 30 minutes just to get these two things. So this is what we have. We went to Strictly on a Stick. We have a boysenberry corn dog with boysenberry mustard. And then these are cheesecake bites. All right, here we go. We're gonna dig in. Dustin's gonna get to eat first because he waited for the food. Yep. Yeah, well, we should guess we're gonna try these boysenberry. It's the cheesecake bites. With cheesecake with, bites. With boysenberry. Is it like a boysenberry jam, jam. or a sauce? Tink. Tink. It has a very tater tot kind of a taste to it. I think I got more like fried dough than I got cream cheese. Yeah, and if you take a look inside, there actually isn't that much fried dough in there. I mean, it's mostly fried dough. It doesn't really taste very cream cheesy. I'm not sure about this. The boysenberry jam is good, to be expected. Mm. I'm really not that impressed. I mean, I guess it's okay, but I think I'd give it like two out of five. Yeah, same. Boysenberry cream cheese bite with fries. I don't even taste the cream cheese in it. No, not really. First item of the day already had a little bit of a fail. Now with this one, it is a, how do you say it? Now it's a boysenberry mustard sauce. Yeah, boysenberry mustard and it's a boysenberry corn dog. As you can see, it's a slight purple. Darker. It's not picking up on camera, but it's purple. We love corn dogs, so hopefully this is good. No bad. The sweetness does go with the saltiness of the corn dog. Overall, for a corn dog, it's, it's pretty good. It has some nice flavor. It makes it a little bit more of a deeper, kind of richer flavored corn dog as opposed to just your normal fried dough dog. And the, the dog itself also has some pretty good seasoning in it. It's more of like a sausage. Just look at the ratio from dog to dough. This is how we want it. <laughs> I will say the mustard carries more of the boysenberry taste than the dough. Yeah. It does, but it's not overpowering, so if you're worried about it tasting weird, it's not. I would actually recommend this. That's like a 3 out of 5 for me. I think I'd give this one a 3 out of 5 as well. Okay, we're back with our third dish from Boardwalk Barbecue, and this is the pot roast with a boysenberry masher. So I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. You'll see the clip, but this is kind of like a little bit purple. Can you see? So we'll see how that tastes. It is $16, but it is a pretty big portion. And we're splitting it between two people. And it does not come with a side, which is why you saw little tiny scraps of veggies on there before, but they scraped it off because it would have cost extra. I was like, you know, it's fine. But you get a little, a little mm -hmm. cornbread. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to dig in first with this mashed potatoes. Try here. the mashed potatoes, see how that is. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. Mm -mm. I don't think boysenberries and mashed potatoes go very well together. God, I hope that the um, 
the meat is a little bit better than the mashed potatoes. Oh, no, guys, no. don't get this. Don't get, don't get, this. get this. Okay, hold on a second. Unless you want a sweet mashed potatoes, that's nothing like a sweet potato mashed potatoes. Yeah, potato. just get sweet potatoes. The meat's great. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, hot roast is on the point. The meat is good. Yeah, hot roast, very... 10 out of 10. The boysenberry masher, uh -uh. 1 out of 10. Huh. They no. got the, the meat so good, but then the mashed potatoes so bad. The boysenberry aspect of it is just the masher. So the uh, hot roast is not affected by it. Let's see what it is, like how the mashed potatoes taste with maybe like a little bit of gravy on it. Oh, even worse. Even worse. No, they don't go well together. It makes the sweetness, t it's the aftertaste for me. It's like yeah. a bitter, it's a weird bitter aftertaste. Okay, I really want to just take the, like take Here, the, we have um, a whole other plate. Here. Well, no, this is perfect. And we can take the pot roast off of the mashed potatoes. I don't think we're going to eat. That, that is so bad. Such a waste of money. That is so bad. Guys, let us save you $16 and just get the regular. If you're going to want pot roast at Knott's Berry Farm at the Boardwalk Barbecue, just get the regular pot roast. Obviously, we came for the boysenberry stuff, so we decided we're gonna try some stuff out that's not on the tasting card. So far, that's been a mistake. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go get our tasting card after this. Yeah. This mashed potatoes makes me wanna cry. I know, it is so bad. It's one of those things where I'm like sitting here going, it can't be that bad. It can't, let me try it one. <laughs> it, it can't be as bad as I thought. No, that's bad. I can't do it. It kinda tastes like sweet potatoes went bad. So it still now has that kind of like sour kind of flavor to it. Oh, no, yeah. It's like I, I need to wash it down with something. Just the taste is staying in the mouth. I don't know how those mashed potatoes got past any kind of sensor. What happened? Uh, hey guys, create some cool boysenberry stuff. Hey, I tried to make these mash these boysenberry mashed potatoes, and the judges just there's got to be some judges that went, yeah, that's good. And I'm like, no, yeah, no, that's bad. I don't know what happened. I don't know how that got passed. It's very disappointing. My recommendation is just get the pot roast. Do not, do not. And you get, get those. different sides that you can choose. So you can do regular mashed potatoes. You can do potato wedges. You can do mac and cheese. You can do veggies. Anything but the boysenberry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so far, the day has not been going great, and not very far. Like we're happy to be here, but the food we've had has been disappointing. The, the, the hot dog, the corn dog was fine, but this is the worst so far. Has it been a week since we met? Is this too fast? So we did it. We broke down and got the tasting pass. The tasting card. The first thing off of this card that we got is some boysen, all beef, boysenberry meatballs with barbecue sauce on mashers. This will hopefully redeem the awful <laughs> boysenberry mashers that we had literally just in the clip before this. It was so bad, guys. With this one, you do get only three meatballs. We're gonna just dive right into it. There you go. Think. Not bad. Mm -hmm. It's a meatball. The barbecue sauce is really tangy. I don't really taste the boysenberry. No, me neither. I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness, but most barbecue sauce oh, normally it's have. Sweet, yeah. I feel like I taste a little bit more of like because usually they put like brown sugar mm -hmm. in barbecue sauce, like that is the dominant flavor I think in here. But at least the mashed potatoes is much better this time. Yeah, these are your traditional mashed potatoes. There's nothing really special about them. Seeing that this is the first dish we're getting off the tasting card, it's fine. It's good. I don't know if it's great, but it's certainly better than um, <laughs> the previous dish that we got. I think overall, I'd give this like a 3.5. I think I'd give it a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5. And you know what, the more and more I think about it, there's nothing really special about this. There's nothing that really stands out like, yeah, boysenberry flavor or an, an incredibly tasty meatball. What happened? 2021 was so good. Other I than know. the boba, it was so good. There, I mean, the food from like the last years was so much was so much better. I was so excited yeah. about certain things. Well, we do have five more tabs to go, so here's what we were thinking of getting. They do have a, on the dessert sweeter side of things, they have a boysenberry rocky road brownie that seemed really good. There's the trail of sausage with peppers and onions on a boysenberry uh, polenta, which sounds good. 
there is a, a poison bear horchata that I really want to get, so we'll yeah. probably walk over there next. And Maybe try to get a drink. few drinks. I think I might get at least like one alcoholic drink. Yeah, get the cider or the beer. Yeah. that I've been looking forward to. Let's give it a try. So there is, it's definitely horchata. It's like a, it's like horchata light. If you've had horchata, this is a little bit lighter, less sweet. Um, and I don't know if that has to do with the boysenberry, but again, I'm not really tasting the boysenberry. Like it's good and it's perfect with this hot weather, but I don't know. I'm gonna have Dustin try it and tell me if he feels the same way. Yeah, I'm right there with you. It's very horchata light, and the, you can't taste the boysenberry at all, except the fact that it's purple. I mean, maybe our, uh, our saying of a whisper of boysenberry, but yeah, it's so barely there. Don't get me wrong, it's refreshing, it's tasty, it's just not $8.33 tasty. Now, I'm actually a little nervous because I saw up on the board, I think it just says berry cider. So I'm hoping that it's actually boysenberry and not just like random berry, but... What, what does it say on your card? Berry cider. Hmm. Okay, well, well... We'll find out. If it happens to be not, it would just continue this like horrendous day of mishaps. Is it a berry cider? Kind of. I mean, it could be a boysenberry type of cider, but I mean, it's tasty. That's I like good. it. That's I good. really like it. It's the best thing we've had so far. <laughs> it is nice on a re uh, mm. nice and refreshing on a hot day like today. Yeah, so I'd, I'd give this a good 3.5. I mean, it's tasty, it's refreshing, it's nice, especially, yeah, since it's so hot here today. I feel like three is our like default rating today. Like mm -hmm. nothing's gotten higher than a three today. We're seated, we found a little, uh, kind of a secluded area and we have the elote. This has boysenberry butter, mayo, kohita cheese. We've had it before, but the presentation on this. <laughs> Let me just show you. So this is this is the presentation on the corn. It was a lot prettier last time, but you know what? I think I will forego how it looks if it tastes fantastic. This could be the first thing that pushes our rating over. Three, three, three out of five today. I so hope so. We will see. Let's go. Dig into this. Oh, oh my. God. Oh gosh. What happened? You got all over the. <laughs> oh my. It's messy. <laughs> and it's okay. Um, I have to admit, the messiness really does knock it down a run. Um, and all of the sauce and stuff kind of fell off. And yeah. I'm like, how does it fall off? It's like sauce that you put onto it and it just kind of <laughs> slipped off. And it really didn't seem like I got a good bite of it. The boysenberry does have a good flavor. It seems like it's more of like a sweet kind of butter. Yes. That they put on there. Because it's boysenberry. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not just the um, boysenberry butter, but the stuff on top. That's mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I'm saying it's like a little bit sweeter than normal mayonnaise. Hmm, interesting. All right, so Dustin's gotten us more napkins. I'm gonna pick this up by the husk and Give in. it a try. <laughs> I do love elote and I do love corn. So it's hard for me to say I don't like it. Though I will also say, the first year we got this, so much better. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's missing on it because it's been like, what, three years? It was back in 2019. But this but is... I remember that we also were able to put like some kind of, a little bit of spicy um, seasoning on there. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. since we were able to put it on ourselves, it made it just like the perfect amount. But it's still good. It's definitely better than the first thing that we had this morning, which mm -hmm. is that cream cheese bite. That oh, was awful. Those were so bad. It's better than the boysenberry masher. So we're moving on up in the rankings here. Slowly but surely. Something else about it. The corn seems more boiled. Than char. char. Yeah, but it doesn't have a much. He didn't leave it on the grill for that long. No, he I didn't. almost feel like we should have taken one of the ones that was slightly more charred. But it wasn't charred. It was like burnt. Yeah. So I think I'd probably get. I'd probably still give this about a three. three. So we had ranking has not moved. We had high helps for this one. This is something I always do every year we come to the Knott's Berry Farm. So it's been a tradition of the past two, now three years, including this year. And there is this um, 
I think they're like a Lisi uh, booth here and it's Flora's Honey is what they're called and they do like a boysenberry honey. They do a special it's just for good. the Knott's Berry Farm. We still have a whole jar at home so I'm not buying honey this time around. Like it's a full jar but they do have these really awesome homemade like organic honey um, lip balm and this one again they make it special for Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival and they have the Boysenberry lip balm but they had something new this year and I thought I'd try it because it looked fun. Banana. That's a new one. So I'm gonna... Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Look, uh, are we in your workspace? No! No, you okay. guys keep going. You look like you're doing fantastic I'm things. just trying to... I got a banana lip balm. Ooh, <laughs> exciting! So we're gonna try it. <laughs> I think the show just got out, so now they're coming out to do like the after show outside. Oh, and I was like, am I in your workspace? She said that uh, it reminded her a little bit of like the Runs banana. Oh! And I was like, I'm a Runs banana, so... This is pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my purse. And then the booth right next to them, there's no name on it, so I can't give you guys a name, but they have a variety of teas, loose leaf teas, um, like anything from oolong to watermelon tea. But they had an iced boysenberry tea with blackberries inside, and it's such Ooh. a hot day, I thought we'd give this a try. You could never go wrong with tea on a hot day. Iced tea. I like it, but I also like tea, so, <laughs> you know. Mm. The, the fragrance of the boysenberry is very prominent. Yes. This is actually probably the, the thing that's the most boysenberry thing that we've had all day. This is our fifth tab um, pick, and it's the boysenberry filled donut, open face breaded chicken sandwich topped with a bacon uh, jam and arugula. We're just gonna fork and knife it. Yep, yep. Tink. I don't know how I feel about that. I think what we really need to do is maybe cut in half so we can get some of that jam. So this is like, the donut's not warm. And I don't mean, it's like it's not even room temperature, it's just cold. Hmm. So that's throwing me off a little bit. And then it's just like a piece of, like, say if you were to get like a breaded chicken sandwich, it's just like the chicken part of it. It's like kind of like a big chicken nugget. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. But it's also not like woohoo good. I definitely taste the boysenberry in this one though. Well, fortunately because you do have a, jam. a little bit of boysenberry jam there. I don't really know what to make of this. I know it doesn't taste bad. But my Which is taste always an upside yes. for today. But I, my taste bud doesn't really love this to combination together. 2.8 out of 5. Yeah, no, I feel kind of bad giving it a... I don't want to give it a 3, but I don't want to give it a 2.5. So, I'll go right in the middle. 2.75. This is the, the worst rating we've ever done for anything yeah. that we've ever eaten. Really? We've done a lot from movie, movie Couple Eats. Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't know. What happened? We loved the last two years. Mm -hmm. What's happening this year? Okay, so this is the final item off of our tasting card. There's no more tabs left. So this is the trio of sausage with peppers and onions on boysenberry polenta. So I can't remember if I've ever had polenta before, but I know for sure I've never had boysenberry polenta. So I guess we'll just have to see how it is. As long as it's not worse than the boysenberry masher. Ooh. That's a low bar, that was, okay? That was cringeworthy. So I'm going to try was. the polenta and see. It's cold. Why is it cold? I don't know. It's cold. It's like really cold, like it was served cold. I want to try one of the many pieces of sausage. The sausage is warm. Ooh, it's spicy. But I don't taste really any boysenberry in this. The boysenberry is in the polenta. The polenta really tastes more barbecue-y. So you guys, if you have any experience with polenta, one, let me know if I'm saying it right. Two, is it typically served cold? And I don't mean room temperature, I mean like, it's been out like of the chill. fridge for like maybe 10 minutes. Like that's the temperature of this polenta. So let me know. I like the sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the peppers and the onion. I'm not sure if I like the boysenberry flavor polenta. Okay. No, me I neither. would love to try polenta regular. It's just not warm. That part that I had was like cold. And that's what's happening with you, huh? Are you okay? Are we okay? <laughs> I'm so sad. Everything we've had today, almost everything we had today, has been bad to mediocre. It hadn't been good. Yeah, there's nothing here today that I would say, oh, you gotta go. My tea. You gotta go to the Boysenberry Festival <laughs> just <laughs> simply for this one item. In the past, I know they've had really good food. Yes. And this year it's just mediocre. I don't know, I'm just really disappointed because I really, we were looking forward to coming today to eat food. You know how it is that we do. We're gonna 
continue to um, begrudgingly finish this because we spent the money so we got to eat it can't waste food even if we don't like it we're, we're trying to eat as much as we can we're gonna take uh, some of the treats home to um, our friend who is watching Navi for the day there is a boysenberry um, rocky road brownie yeah, that's supposedly get. excellent so we're gonna take that to go we're gonna pick up some boysenberry coffee that's always true that then, better not have gotten worse I don't know how you can mess yeah, that up. Yeah, I don't know up. how that's possible. Take Not coffee, at boysenberry. There, done. <laughs> so, um, we will see you guys probably in the next clip, or this could be it. I don't know. We'll find out together. We thought we were done, but then we saw this, and we decided we weren't done. This is the fried monkey bread with the boysenberry glaze or something like that. So, they made this fresh, so I'm hoping it's going to be delicious. Look, it might be the best thing we've had all day. I've been saying that on every single one. If I keep saying it, it'll come true. It's gonna come true. It's fried dough. Fried cinnamon dough. But still, once again... I'm not tasting the boysenberry. I'm not really tasting I didn't I'm gonna this literally one. pick up the boysenberry. It matches my mask. Oh. I don't. I just taste regular frosting. It is super sugary, though. Um, it is quite sugary. So the sugariness of it kind of overpowers. This is, of course, very dense, very thick. Um, it is very, it's very tasty, but I can kind of feel my arteries clogging. You can't really go wrong with fried dough. Exactly. <laughs> Overall, yes, this is probably, this is exactly what I expected from fried monkey bread. It's cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon dough, deep fried with a faux boysenberry frosting, so to speak. I would say that this is probably the one that I'm enjoying the most out of all the things that we have. What would you rate it? It's still in the three range. 3.5 out of 5. 3.5. Back in the car, I look sweaty, but I'm not sweaty. I just misted my face because I felt like I needed some. We have in hand two of the uh, boysenberry Rocky Road brownie, and one of them is for our friends who's watching Navi today, and the other one, the other one is for us. Mm. So this is the last thing we decided to not eat it in the park because we wanted to sit down in just like our own space finally to kind of wind down before we drive home. Why is it hard? Oh God, no! <laughs> It's probably because it was cold. Oh my gosh, that is like hard as a rock. Guys. <laughs> no! We just can't win. You hear that, right? Okay, hold on a sec. We'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Pick it up and bite it. Go ahead. Hmm. Once mm. again, though, I don't taste the least amount of boysenberry. That... I do. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Mm. I wish they had swirled the, the boysenberry jam or whatever it is throughout the brownie a little bit more than just, mm -hmm. like, it's really it's... just, like, right here. It's kind of shallow. So, yeah. There is boysenberry swirls in there, but it's not throughout the entire brownie. It's just kind of up, up on the top. But I really do get that. It's still a light amount it's, but it's more than a whisper. I want more of boysenberry. boysenberry nuts. To wrap up, Movie Couple Eats at Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival 2022 is that it's been just a really disappointing day as far as the food goes. Um, it, the taste and the quality. It's not on par from last year or the year before. And the year before, um, 20, not 2020 because they closed, obviously. 2019, 2019. or oh. maybe it was 2018. I want to say it was 2019. It was excellent. It was. It's actually still to date my favorite year, even yes. though 2021 was pretty up there as well. But they had this one day. Anyways, you, can, you guys can go back and watch that vlog if you want to. How excited we were about a lot of things that we got to try um, in 2021 and in 2019. But this year, the quality seemed off. Um, the selection of food felt really weird. Um, for the tasting card, it's like some of the places you can only get it with a tasting card. But if you went to the bakery, even though it's a tasting card item, you can still buy it a la carte. 
it's really weird I don't know how I feel about that I felt really disorganized we actually were talking to another um, girl so Chelsea for watching thanks for saying hi um, even she said you know she got one of the items she said it tasted okay but the temperature was off yeah and then you know like many people we don't like coming from the food service I don't like to complain about my food unless it's absolutely atrocious like if I ordered a medium rare steak and it came out like a cold rare then I'd be like I'm sorry can you like, refire that right so it wasn't the case here it wasn't like oh it was so bad but it was just it was not it was not a good day very underwhelming nuts. yeah very... but I'm glad it wasn't just us because yeah. somebody else was able to vouch their experience I'm like okay so it's not just us because we tried so many food across the day we tried the stuff yeah. that was on the tasting card we tried the stuff that was not on the tasting card I hate that I, I'm going home to say one of the tastiest things that I had today was the boysenberry corn dog a corn yeah. dog. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with liking corn dogs, okay? I love a good corn dog. I love the Disneyland one. But we don't come to the Boysenberry Festival for a good corn dog. We come for some of the amazing Boysenberry um, items that they have. Yeah, the creative and, stuff. Oh, there. I mean, and there's just some things that blew my mind the la those last 2019 and 2021 that I was so excited for the Boysenberry Festival this year. And I have to admit, yeah. I is was this just payback like, yeah. for us always bitching about how bad their boba was? Is this <laughs> what it is? The <laughs> Everyone follow around the movie couple and make sure they get the worst. They get the worst because they made fun of our boba. It's like, no, I didn't make fun of it. I was just critical of it because you, you guys refrigerate it. I stand by you. You don't refrigerate tapioca boba, okay? Anyways, we're going to um, take the drive home and pick up Navi. Thank you for watching. Thanks for following us on today's crazy journey um, at Knott's Berry Farm. Let us know what you, uh, where you guys would like to see us eat and try next within the Southern California area. Comment below if you've been to um, Knott's Berry's uh, Boysenberry Festival in 2022. Let us know what are some of the things that you absolutely enjoyed. Comment that below because we have a season pass now so we might come back with you know sometime between now and then uh and try that item maybe. yep yep all right thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye